All right, so we about to check out nine muses for Take Me Get. All right, so we about to check out nine muses for Take Me Back, and we're gonna hit up a song called Gun. Now, last time I checked out nine muses, I checked out Wild, and the song was just that. So was the music video. I was told in one of the comments that uh, a lot of their songs, I think early on, were produced by Sweet Tune, who is, I'm trying to remember, is also Monotree or was Monotree or Monotree or some of the people from Sweet Tune left and became Monotree or Sweet Tune became Monotree. I can't remember. It was a while ago where I remember the comment, but it definitely stuck because I know Monotree. Actually, I decided to go open the comment and it says, yet yeah, fun fact, stellar songs produced by Monotree who were formerly from Sweet Tune. Okay, so I, the comment, it was someone telling me about Sweet Tune and then in the reply to another one of the comments, it was someone saying, oh, to check out Stellar and uh, Sian's Pants. Shout out to you because you're always helping me out. Said that Monotree were formerly from Sweet Tune. So that's why I would like feel some similarities, if anything, um, because it's the same people like that were part of the golden era of Kara. Well, my, my information that I just said is like a little all over the place. I was like a lot of stuff that I was remembering and I just want to clarify it just now. But we're going to check out Gun right now. There was also a documentary I was told to check out that I haven't done so yet. Hopefully I remember to check it out come next time I check them, I check out Nine Muses. Um, but I have not checked it out yet, but I do remember the comment. I also just saw it again. Now sometimes I try to remember everything at once, especially because when it comes to like just asking for song suggestions, people also suggest stuff like that, which I am interested in checking out. But some things like because of like all the things that take in at once, sometimes they get jumbled up. So I kind of forgot to check out that uh, documentary. What is this saloon music they about to hit me with? What is this death they about to hit me with? Oh my god, she's like, Hyori, oh my god, shit, <laughs> right there, she looked like Hyori so much, is that just me, is it just me, did I just kind of lose it real quick, hold on, this song is actually speaking to me, bro, I love this shit, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Right there, like she looks like oh my god. I can't get over this bee, like the Higher. Who hurt you? Let me whoop his ass. Oh, I just, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just flat out just like how this song sounds, bro. I just like flat out love how this sounds. I didn't even check what year this was from. The way it, like, it looks, it looks recent, but I don't think it is. I low-key 
you end up overpaying for the gas, but the shoe was filling the tank. Look at that music stuck in there. I love this song. I just love how it sounds. Oh, I was ready to keep going. This is the repeat thing of like songs just ending too soon. Like it recently happened with Zion T and Sugi, and now like I, I really actually feel robbed. I feel like I just got robbed. So this actually came out in 2013, bruh. So it's not that recent, it just looks really good. They look amazing, but it just looks really good. And I just flat out, I just like how this song sounds. I tried my best to like read the lyrics, but I kind of like for like, I forego reading the lyrics, just forego. is that how you say that? I don't think that's how you say that. But I like went over reading the lyrics because I was just like, she looks so much like, not even this part. And this song just has me <laughs> move. I just like it. So you said, okay, let me make sure. Okay, I still have the comments open. Hold on. So their 20, 2011 to 2013 was their golden era. And all their songs during that time were produced by Sweet Tune. And I think what sparked me mentioning that was that I read the, the, the description. Because I read, it said, the title song Gun is made by the hit song maker Sweet Tune's Han Jeho. Or Jeho. I think it's Jeho because it's separated with the thing. I think it's Jeho. Um, and Kim Sung Soo made us off the night goes we're ready to fly up high with the western style guitar Yes, that was like the mid like Midwest type vibe saloon music style music that that's so good That is so good, and I feel like that's a style that fits more so like Female voices. I don't know. I just I like female voices over those like Midwest like Midwestern sounding saloon style songs I don't know. I just like how they sound like that um, maybe it's because I just feel like those sounds sound sexy and it just sounds better just coming out from a female's voice for me. I don't know. That could just be me. That could just be how I look at it. But I, I definitely got like the, the saloon music vibes from the get-go. So I got songs suggested like Glue, Dolls, Ticket, Figaro, and Hurt Locker. Uh, I was actually going to do Hurt Locker today, but I decided to go with Gun. I don't know why. I just, I had both open and I think I just closed one and left the other one open. So... Gun ended up being the one I checked out today. Let me know what I should check out next. Um, in November, I'm going into checking out solo artists. So if you got any suggestions for solo artists, let me know. The song is over again. I, I'm not ready. The song keeps finishing. I'm not anticipating it finishing. I, do I just talk that much? So November, I'm doing solo artists. So let me know any suggestions you have for solo artists. I have a whole bunch that I've gotten suggested recently since I mentioned it. And also a whole bunch that I have checked out once or twice before that I'm gonna go back to and also a whole bunch that have been suggested since way back in January. Just know, obviously, Take Me Back took over everything this summer, honestly. It was supposed to be Take Me Back week, if you remember correctly. Like It was supposed to be Take Me Back week with me knowing you would go a little further and we're still doing Take Me Back ever since I started it. So, it's just because that's where my interest lies. But in November, I'm kinda gonna flip Take Me Back because it's gonna be also members of groups from take me back apart from actual solo artists and also let me know what song of theirs i should check out next and obviously i have these like i told you these it's five glue no it's, it's six glue hurt lock uh glue dolls ticket figaro glue dolls ticket figaro hurt locker it is fine i can't count let me know which one i should hit up next and also i'm gonna try to remind myself that i want to watch that documentary before i do my reaction next time so let me say this now and i'm gonna leave this in the video so i just edit it and maybe i'll watch it while i am rendering it out 